Hey again, everybody on YouTube. This is another Tech Biz tutorial. We're doing another cinemagraph, this time using a uh, animation layer of snow over a photograph. Got this picture from Unsplash.com, which is a great resource for people looking for pictures for to use for projects or tutorials or for uh, Photoshop practice, those kind of things. A lot of great quality photographs taken on there. So I have this image right here. I'm going to start off by going up to image and adjustments and I'm going to change the hue saturation and I'm going to bring the saturation down to about negative 77 to take some of the yellow tint out of the light I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to add a new layer I'm going to shift backspace to fill this layer with black and then I'm going to go to filter noise add noise and 164 looks good. Gaussian and monochromatic. And I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go to filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and just about 2% for the radius and pixels. Then I'm going to click OK. Then Control L to bring my levels up. And then I'm going to adjust these input levels to where I get a few snowflakes on there, not too many and just kind of the right size and shape. So this looks pretty good right here. I think I'm going to go with that 127 and 183. And then I'm going to click OK. Then I'm going to go to Filter, Other, Offset. And kind of like we did with the rain, I need to look for this line here, this seam that shows up, because I want it to be seamless on the animation. So I'm going to click OK. I'm use my rectangle marquee tool select it shift backspace and I'm gonna go fill with content aware click OK and then control D and again if I wanted to I could use my spot healing brush or clone stamp but this looks like it's gonna work well okay so now I'm going to go to edit and define pattern and I'm going to call this snow so I'm gonna click OK and that looks pretty good now the next thing I want to do is I'm going to if I want to see how this is going to look on my layer, I'll just go to my blend mode and I'll go screen. And yeah, I think that's going to be okay. So I'm going to uh, make this layer invisible. I'm going to add a new layer. I'm going to hold down shift backspace and I'm going to fill this layer with 50% gray. Click OK. Double click on the layer. And I'm going to go down to pattern overlay. So I clicked on pattern overlay. Obviously, that's not the pattern we want, so I'm going to click on the words pattern overlay. I'm going to choose this down arrow, and I'm going to select this pattern that we just saved. And it makes it like it was before the screen mode, so I'm going to go to blend mode, and I'm going to go down to screen. And it screens it with the 50% gray. I want to take the gray away, so I'm going to click on blending options, and I'm going to change the fill opacity down to zero. And that's starting to look right. So I'm going to click OK now. now. I'm going to go up to Window and I'm going to go down to Animation. And again, if you're using Photoshop CC, you'll go to Window and Timeline. And I'm going to click this arrow right here and for Layer 2. And I'm going to click on the stopwatch for Style and it's going to add a keyframe. And then I'm going to uh, move this blue arrow on my timeline to the far right and I'm going to double click on this layer again I'm going to go back down to pattern overlay and just like I did with the rain I'm going to hold down shift and over my picture I'm going to click and drag down and I'm holding shift so it brings the layer straight down I'm going to go about maybe four, four and a half, five times I'm not going to go as many with the rain because the rain I wanted to come down faster and the snow I want it to be a little bit more gentle. So that looks pretty good and I'm going to click OK. And if I want to test out the speed I can hit play and I think that's going to be good. Now the thing is snow does never just fall straight down. It kind of swirls around and those kind of things. So what we need to do is add a displacement map. So I'm going to use my rectangular marquee tool. I'm going to select around my whole image here and I'm going to hit control C to copy then I'm going to go file new and I'm going to go to 
it, when I do that, it automatically puts the size of the image that I'm using for my new canvas. I'm going to click OK. OK, and so we created our new file in the same size as our previous snow picture we're working on. And I'm going to convert the layer to a smart object and rasterize the layer. I'm going to shift backspace to fill the layer with black. And then I'm going to go to filter and I'm going to go to render and clouds. Now, if you don't like the distribution of your clouds, you can always change it with control F and it'll render a new set of clouds. This looks pretty good right here. I'm then going to go to filter, blur, then Gaussian blur. And 9.8 is where this is at. I think that'll be okay. So I'm going to click OK again. Then I'm going to go to File, Save As, and I'm going to save this as a file called Snow Distort. I'm going to click Save, and I already have a file with that on there, but I'm going to overwrite it. So I'm going to click OK, and then click OK again. Okay, so now I'm going back to my original image. I'm going to hit Control D to deselect around my picture. And now I'm ready to make my snow animation to where it doesn't fall straight down. So I'm going to right click on layer two in my layers panel. I'm going to convert this to a smart object. It's going to fill it with black. And then I'm just going to go back to my blend mode and I'm going to go to screen. So that looks like how it did before. Then I'm going to go up to filter and I'm going to go to distort and displace. Now, you may change these later, but right now I'm going to try mine at 20% or at 20 for horizontal and vertical. I'm saying stretch to fit and wrap around. Then I'm going to click OK and a window is going to come up and I'm going to choose my snow distortion map that I created. So I'm going to click open. And you'll notice it kind of moves some things around here. So now we're ready to save it. We'll go file, save for web and device. And this all looks good. I'm not going to change the size. Looping options I want to save forever. So now I can click save. And I will call this snow project gif. I'm going to replace my old copy with this new one. And we have it created. So I'm going to close out of that. I will find Snow Project GIF. Open that up and here we have our snowfall. Again, if I wanted to go back and make changes to the snow speed, I could always go back into the timeline and uh, slow that down or redo any of that. But this kind of gives you an idea of how to make a cinemagraph with some snowfall on a wintry scene. Hope you enjoyed it and stay tuned for more.